Hey guys, it's the Electron versus the Smart Car. This is the epic battle, the thing you've all been waiting for. I'm Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel. Stick around. Okay, so all joking aside, this is a comparison video where I'm gonna be comparing two different carburetors. We've got the Electron carburetor and we've got the SC2 Smart Carb made by Technology Elevated. Before I get into this though, I should tell you that I bought this carburetor, the Electron with my own money. I bought the Smart Carb with my own money and I actually tested it on the same exact bike so that I could learn as much as possible about uh, both of these carburetors. I should also note that I essentially stopped Electron, just stopped selling Electron carburetors just so I could do a fair review of the Smart Carb, which I've already done, and I gave it a fair review, and I said I really liked it. Um, I did, I stopped selling these things so that I could be 100% objective about it, but now it's even more critical that I'm doing a review video where I'm saying, hey, look, here's what I think about the Electron versus the Smart Carb. I don't have any any you know, financial incentive with any of this stuff. I do have links with Rocky Mountain ATV. I know they sell the Electron. They might sell the Smart Carb as well. Um, hopefully they do because this is a pretty cool product. So the only way that I'd get any benefit is if you use the links down in the description, which you can do for anything. I don't like selling parts individually. So let's get into it and let's talk about versus, you know, Electron versus Smart Carb, which is better, the pros and cons, and what I think um, the selling features are on both of these things. Something else we should get out of the way is that both of these carburetors actually had similar advantages over like a stock carburetor. For instance, they both ran very, very well and metered the bike very well as I went up in elevation and up, up and down in elevation and had temperature swings uh, you know, across a wide gamut. So they both were very good at metering um, with pressure or density altitude, which is essentially what we're working on with carburetors here. The other thing I would say is that both of them have a little bit of an advantage on not wasting a lot of fuel. They don't dump fuel out on the ground. Um, the Electron doesn't dump a lot of fuel out, except for it's dumping it out on me right now. <laughs> and the Smart Carb doesn't dump a lot, a lot of fuel on the ground either. So I do think you get some gains that way. Both carburetors offer a little bit better throttle response and they both have different metering rods that you can take, a, that you can take out and swap for different metering rods for a different application. Uh, so that is very good with both of the carburetors. The SC2 though, the Smart Carb, it actually only has one, it doesn't have any vent hoses, it just has one drain uh, hose out of the bottom of the float. So it has a little bit cleaner look and, but essentially they're, they're very, they're both very, very good carburetors. So let's talk about where I think the Electron has some pros and then I'll follow it up with where the Smart Carb has some pros. So let's talk about where the Electron shines. The Electron shines first and foremost because it's cheaper. The Electron is about $475. Depends on which one you get. Some of them might be just over 500 bucks. But the Electron is somewhere between $200 and $300 cheaper from what I can tell than the Smart Carb. And so that's a substantial thing. In some cases, you're going to save as much as 50% of the cost by going with Electron. Now I know this carburetor is expensive. You're gonna be $500 all in, but on the Smart Carb, you're gonna be $700 all in, or maybe even $800 all in, depending on if you go with a throttle position sensor. And that also includes the throttle cables. So the Electron is a little bit cheaper than the Smart Carb. Another advantage of the Electron is there is this translucent float bowl here. So it might sound like a small thing to some of you guys, but you can actually see where the fuel level is inside the float bowl without taking it off the carburetor. That's a pretty nice thing. If it, this helps if you're setting the float, your, the, the fuel height inside the float bowl, and it also helps to know if you've got like a stuck float or something. Because if you see fuel all the way up in the, up in the top of this thing, you know you've got a problem, it's time to take the carburetor apart. You cannot see that down here in the smart carb. If there is a problem, which I'll get into later, you will not be able to see that. So that's an advantage here for the Electron. Another advantage of Electron is simple installation where you don't need to carve out any of your air boot um, when you're installing this. The Electron does not have a vent scoop in here, which is also can be you know, a pro for the Smart Carb. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, but the Electron does not have a vent scoop here, so it's, you don't need to trim out your air box boot. On some, of the car, on some of the models with the Smart Carb, you would have to trim that out. I will note though that on so, your Electron is a little bit longer, and so sometimes it makes fitment of this pretty tight. So those are my pros for the Electron. It works fantastic, it's tried and true, 
and you've got a few of those little advantages. Now let's talk about where this thing does fall short to the Smart Carb. First pro, first and foremost, and there are two big things, is your choke is on the correct side of the bike. So it's on the left-hand side of the bike right here on the Smart Carb, which makes it easy to get to. Get to. On the Electron, it's actually on the wrong side. It's over on the right side and you have to reach in here and it's kind of awkward to get at. Now, you only have to do that once a day and sometimes you don't even have to, but having the choke on the right or on the correct side makes it a lot easier to use the carburetor. The other really, really big thing is the fact that you can tune this carburetor as in enrich in the mixture or lean the mixture without taking it off the bike. It's without any tools, which is really awesome. So, open the throttle all the way, reach down here, probably can't see it, push down on the brass top, go push down and then go, whoops. I think that did it. The way that works is you pin your throttle all the way open and then you can use this little nut here, this little tool, uh, adjustment knob on the top of the carburetor and you can enrich it and lean it like clicks. There are about 10 clicks per revolution, which is pretty nice. So you can enrich in the mixture or lean the mixture and that is really cool. So those are the two main benefits of this carburetor. Other things to note, it is compatible with your stock throttle cable. I don't know of any bikes that you can't use just the stock throttle cable, which is an advantage over Electron. With Electron, you have to use a little bit longer throttle cable, which they have made easy and they supply in the kit, but it's just one more thing you have to do because now you have to uh, modify, you have to install a new throttle cable, which means taking your throttle assembly apart, and that's just a little bit of extra hassle on the get-go. Another advantage of the Smart Carb is it is five millimeters narrower this way. So the Electron, if you, if you measure this with, with calipers, the Electron is five millimeters longer this way. I measured it out as the Smart Carb being 83 millimeters and the Electron being 88 millimeters. So that's nice because that means that there's a little bit more room. It's easier to install it here in the bike because it, it doesn't take up quite as much room this way, side to side, front to back. And that, that's cool because then you might not, to use, might not to need, need to use like a different intake manifold and it won't put your, in, your airbox boot on as much of a bind there. Some of those bikes are really, really tight. This bike, there was a little bit more room installing this with the Smart Carb than the Electron, so that was a nice thing. Another advantage of the Smart Carb is it has the option for a throttle position sensor. So I didn't use that because this bike didn't need it. This is the race edition beta. So I just got the standard version of the carburetor, but there are some models out there that are gonna require a throttle position sensor and uh, Technology Elevated, SC2, Smart Carb uh, version two, it allows you to get this with a throttle position sensor, which opens up a couple of other possibilities for you. Now just a couple of caveats with both of these carburetors. I've had two people reach out to me recently and tell me that their smart carb actually filled their entire crankcase up with fuel because they didn't shut the petcock, petcock off, the fuel shut off valve, they didn't shut that off and it was either bouncing around in the trailer or it tipped over. One person this happened to twice where it filled up the crankcase once because it was in transport and they left their fuel on and it filled the entire bike up with fuel, the entire crankcase. Another time it just tipped over in their garage and filled the crankcase full of fuel. That could be a fluke but I also did have another person call me and tell me about a similar thing. So maybe it's a fluke, but that has happened with two of my viewers here on the Smart Carb. The other thing I'd mention is that with the Smart Carb and the Electron, they're not, it's not like you don't need to tune them. There are people that have reached out to me and said they had tuning issues with their Electron where they couldn't make it run right. There are people who have reached out to me and said they had tuning issues, tuning issues with their Smart Carbs and they couldn't make it run right. I have not had any tuning issues with either one of the carburetors. They've both worked essentially flawless for me. So in conclusion, let's break this all down. Yes, the Smart Carb does offer some advantages, but you pay $200 to $300 more for those things. More context, I've put the Electron on no less than 10 bikes, and I own three of them currently. I have one here in my hand, and I have Electrons on both of my kids' bikes, so I know they work. And generally speaking, I don't even have to tune the Electrons when I get them. Every once in a while, I'll have to take it off the bike one time and turn the metering rod like a quarter turn or a half turn, but that's it. 
Once it's installed on the bike, it doesn't matter whether I run the bike at 3,000 feet or above 10,000 feet, the electrons have self-metered and I haven't had to touch them. And I'm talking about temperature swings of 30 degrees to over, like, you know, over 100 degrees. So really wide variations in temperature and elevation and this an electron has worked flawless for me in those cases. The Smart Carb has also worked flawless. I haven't put as much time on it, but they've both been very good in that way. So, in conclusion, if having the choke on the, on the correct side and not having to take the carburetor apart in that first initial setup, the initial tuning, maybe having to take it apart, if that's worth two to $300 for you, then I have no reservations recommending the Smart Carb to you. You're gonna pay a little bit more for it, but it's gonna have some additional conveniences. And if that's you, then go for the Smart Carb. On the other hand, if you're one of those guys that really likes the feeling of $200 or $300 in your pocket, and you don't mind the fact that you might have to take the carburetor apart once or twice when you're setting it up, and you don't care that the choke is over on the wrong side of the bike because you're like, look, I'm only gonna need the choke one time per day, and a lot of times I won't even need the choke at all. If that's you, then I know that the Electron is also gonna work really, really well for you. I should also mention just in closing that both of these carburetors were invented by the same gentleman, although the Smart Carb is basically the later version of this. And you can tell because there's some refinements that work better on dirt bikes with the Smart Carb, but it's an, it's an extra, you know, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50% increasing the cost. I'm not sure that's worth it for a bunch of people. I like that we have both options in the market because I think they both fit a certain demographic of riders and they're both very good products. For me and my money, I'm not sure it's worth the extra two to $300 to go with the Smart Carb, but in fairness, I'll probably buy another one for another bike down the road because I don't have as much experience with it. And so I will continue to use both of these carburetors on various applications because they're both very, very good. Guys, if you want to support Dirt Bike Channel, you can do so by using the links down in the description to Rocky Mountain ATV. I have links at dirtbikechannel.com up in the upper right hand corner. You can see that right here. Uh, you click in the upper right hand corner, it takes you to links for Rocky Mountain ATV, Amazon and Motorsport. That really, really helps support the channel. Also, we do Dirt Bike Channel sweepstakes. This bike is a sweepstakes bike. You can't enter to win this bike because it's going away either today or tomorrow. By the time you guys see this video, this should be on its way to, I believe this one is going to Oklahoma, uh, to Corbin Halley, I believe it is. Um, anyway, later this year in October, November, December timeframe, we'll be doing another Dirt Bike Channel sweepstakes where, we, where we'll be giving away a bunch of cool prizes. Dirt bikes galore. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Hopefully this video was helpful for you and you learned something about Electron versus Smart Carb. Both of them very good products. And uh, until next time, leave a single track. Thanks.